Hello and welcome to another Sold Out Night at the Velvet Night! <laughs> the Velvet Note's a place where you can see and hear world-class musicians in a setting that's as intimate and as comfortable as your very own living room. We give you a chance to get to know the musicians here and to hear the music the way that it was meant to be heard. We're a listening room. We had our acoustics designed by a protege of the Hollywood director, George Lucas, under his guidance, to be the highest quality, unenhanced sound available today. And we have been here nine years and two months. Over the last six years, we've had consecutive awards by Downbeat Magazine for being one of the top 100 jazz clubs in the world. Yeah. We are so honored to have Reggie Hines with us tonight. He made me chase him. I told him, I'm over 50 now. I don't chase as well as I used to. <laughs> but we got him. Reggie is uh, originally from the Bronx, New York, and if you know anything about New York, that's a special kind of human being. He grew up learning music in the streets of the Bronx, joined the Army, was an alum of the Army Music School, played music, played band in the Army, and has been on a funky, wonderful trajectory ever since. You might have caught him at Cafe 290 over the last several years. We're happy to have him as he releases a, a new uh, suite of music that goes into his brand new album, which is coming out next month. Next month is August. So you're getting a first look. I wish I could be where you are. <laughs> Having a margarita. With a squeeze of lemon, squeeze of lime, squeeze of orange. And a little bit of agave nectar. But I'll be in the back. <laughs> cooking your dinner. <laughs> including our highly rated Chesapeake Jumbo Lump Crab Cakes. Don't let us be lonely tonight. Put your hands together for Reggie Hines!
There it is. What's happening, everybody? Y'all having a good time tonight? Yeah! Um, is there anyone here that's seen my show before? Oh, once or twice. Okay, well, just once or twice. And so I take it that a lot of you haven't. Um, this is probably the most toned down I've been performing in a long time. Yeah, you're right. And I love it. You know, we gotta, listen, let me tell you something. It's like sports, uh, let's just say the NBA. It isn't easy to like, take it off and then you're just gonna come back out there on the court and just run full blown games. And you know, no matter how many times you've been doing reps in the gym and running suicides back and forth, hey, it's still another thing. So just let me ease back into this thing. You know, now I don't know what's gonna happen in the next set now. I'm gonna be eased on down. But it's all good. Give it a more, another hand. Round of applause for Jamie. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've been doing this for quite a, quite a bit. Each one of them, respectfully, are like amazing musicians that have their own like world and their own thing going on. And just check them out. This is Rodney Edge on keyboards. I mean, on piano and keyboards. This is Jay Troy. He's a musical director for a lot of different major groups. And so is Rodney. And um, we have Jeremy Winbush on drums. So check these guys out. Just remember, my name is Reggie Hines, and check me out. Just follow me if you're on this this new thing, this social media. You gotta, you gotta get down. You know. So I'm at Hines Music One. That's H-I-N-E-S Music in the number one. So check me out. Follow me. There's a lot of amazing things going on. A lot of amazing things happening. So. I'm glad I can use my quiet stone voice tonight. You know? right. You're listening to the sounds of the WREGG. Coming to you on your FM dials. All my ladies in the house tonight. Mm -hmm. We're going to do it like this. Let's see if y'all can do this. Come on. Break it down.
Yeah, my name is Reggie Ryan. Give it up for Rodney Edge. Nick Schwartz. Jeremy Wimbos. Put your hands together for the bell window. Show some love to the amazing Sam, waiters, waitresses, and everything else that they do that's making you feel as safe and as, as comfortable as possible. At once, we cannot leave here without it. Showing some love to the brain of it all. The soul of it all. Put your hands together for Tamara. Tamara for y'all. We gotta get you up here and sing the songs, huh? Nothing? <laughs> Thank y'all. Come on, man. You can find all of our upcoming shows at TheVelvetNote.com. I want to tell you about two that are very unique. The one is um, most of the jazz musicians in the Atlanta area are going to be here tomorrow night. They're going to be playing for free in a fundraiser for Grammy Award winning bassist Kevin Smith whose home burned to the ground this month. And um, so we're raising money for him. And you can't make a reservation. You can stop on. If you want to come in, it'll cost you $10. And that $10 goes to Kevin. And I'll be cooking. <laughs> and there'll be drinks to be served. And we'll also be streaming it online. So if you can't stop by, you can watch. And you can also donate online. Now, I just want you to think about a lot of great jazz musicians, unscripted, unrehearsed, unleashed, unharnessed, <coughs> unadulterated, <laughs> doing whatever they want to do. It's going to be a wild one. So it's for a great cause. I hope we see you um, next weekend. Um, we have four greats on the stage at the same time. We have Curtis Lundy, best known for the, being the bassist in the Betty Carter band. We have uh, Louis Herbo on keys, Grammy Award winning drummer Terry Ongali and the great multi-instrumentalist, better known as a vibraphonist, Warren Wolf, will be here with them. That's his one that you don't want to miss. Saturday and Sunday. Come out and see us. Okay. I'm gonna let you go now. <laughs> this is not just a job. It's what we love to do to bring you closer to artists to inspire you, closer to each other, and closer to the song that's in your heart. Come back and see us again. Good night.
to another sold out night at the Velvet no! You guys are making me work for it, aren't you? Here we go. You guys look so cool back there. Welcome to the Velvet Nest. This is a place where you can see and hear world-class musicians, but in a setting that's as intimate and as comfortable as your living room. They give me a chance to get to know the musicians and to hear the music the way that it was meant to be heard. We're a listening room. We had our acoustics designed by protege, the Hollywood director, George Lucas, under his guidance, to be the highest quality, unenhanced sound available today. And we just celebrated our ninth anniversary And out of those nine years, we've won six consecutive awards from Downbeat Magazine for being one of the top 100 jazz clubs in the world. And, and we are so happy tonight to have a gentleman who we've seen, I've heard of him, I got to see him at Cafe 290, well, we've been chasing him for a while to get him here at the Velvet Note, and we're so happy we finally caught up with him. Before I introduce him, though, I think I have a birthday in this audience. Isn't it someone's birthday? Someone celebrating a birthday? My, I'm, I'm, wait a minute. My, my Psychic Friends Network is almost... Let me turn it up here. Here we go. Isn't it your birthday? Yes. Oh, yes. we do yes. 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 Happy birthday, honey. Happy birthday. Good things will come to you. Got another, birthday. another one walking in the door. Well, I'm so glad we waited for you. Happy birthday. <laughs> gentleman over here, he's taking a big long sip of his water, he's hoping to hide behind the glass. Happy birthday. Thank you. We're so happy to have you Thank celebrating you. here. Oh, I knew it, my psychic friends know, it never lets me down. So Reggie Hines is originally from the Bronx, New York. You know anything about New York? Look down. No, that's right, Bronx don't play. And uh, that's kind of where he cut his teeth in terms of his uh, music education. But he also went to the um, Army's musical s music school and played in the Army band and has toured with the Army band and has been a um, pinnacle of our local jazz community, mostly at Cafe 290. And so, like I said, we've been trying to get him here for a while. And we're happy to have him here tonight with his band. He uh, kind of integrates a lot of the music that you might have heard on the radio with uh, some of his own arrangements and uh, a little bit of jazz, a little bit of soul and R&B, and gives you something that you haven't heard quite before, but that feels familiar, like that great warm sweater you have to put on yourself and it's cold outside and uh, he's been here a lot as a guest but this will be his first headline night so it is my privilege to introduce him to you tonight for the late show now the late show is known for people who defy all of the rules if they want to dance they dance if they want to dance on their birthday, they dance. <laughs> I would join you, but I'll be in the kitchen cooking your dinner. 
Put your hands together for Reggie
going on? How's everybody doing? Yeah. One, two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now I can put my quiet stone voice on. <laughs> What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Give it up for the band. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> on piano and keys, put your hands together for Mr. Rodney Edge. Holding it down on bass, Mr. J. Troy. And doing what he does on these drums back here, holding it down, give it up for Jeremy Winbush. Check these cats out, check these fellas out, they do their thing on it, they, you know, they, they're their own world, they're their own entity. And I am blessed and I am glad that to have them with me tonight. So once again, give them a round of applause. And How many of y'all came out to have a good time tonight? See, now those are good. How many of you have seen me perform before? Woo! A little bit. Okay, for those of you that haven't. Get excited. Okay. For a treat. Man. Man for a treat, man. Well, you know, I mean, thank you. Thank you all. It's been a long time since we've been out playing live, you know? And I'm thankful. I'm thankful that you all are here this evening. And uh, we're just going to have a good time. Is that all right? Yeah. We're just going to let, listen, for those of you that see me before, know I get real crumped up and I'm ready to go. But tonight, we're going to come from a different approach. And if that happens to happen, so be it. <laughs> um, we're just going to let it be what it is. And, um, this is an honor of music to me. It's music to me. How many of you still have albums at home? Uh, how many of you have uh, cassette tapes still? I'm, I'm going to really get you now. How many of you have real to real? You know what that is? Yeah. I might think of an a, a track. A -track. An a track? Wait a minute now. You got an A track? In the car? That's that deuce in the quarter, yeah. Yes, yes, you know. And music, you know, we, th we think about music coming. When I was growing up, music, you know, even the radio. The radio even played the whole song. You remember that? When the radio would play the, the, the live versions of songs and, and they would play the extended versions. And they would just let the artist be the artist. And uh, tonight, we want to bring you something. Something organic. You know what I mean? Thank <laughs> you. 
One time. Three times. Two times. Five times quick. Two times. One time. Bring it back, y'all. Give me two times, three times, two times, one. Two times, five times quick, ten times. Bring it back, y'all. Can I get more on the monitors? This or the sax and the monitors here. Yeah. Hit me two times, three times, four times, two times. Two times, one time. Bring it back, y'all. Five times quick, five times, five times. Five times, one time smooth. Bring it back, y'all.
you're listening to the sounds of the WREGGIE radio. <laughs> this is that, this is the whole, this is the other vibe here, y'all. Nice. Yeah, this is the vibe that I love, I love this vibe. wonder what this instrument is. This is my magic wand right here. This is called the Ewi. E-W-I. We say Ewi for short. Which stands for Electronic Wind Instrument. Yeah. You actually blow air into it even though it's electronic and it's, and it's, it's what you call it's it's touch sensitive, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. That means it reacts to the way that I touch it. Wait a minute now. <laughs> Let me explain. It gives the same emotion that I give as I give it. As I blow air into it, just like the conventional saxophone, it reacts to that. Let me give you a demonstration real quick. Let me just nonchalantly just play a little, just blow a little air through it, just a second. You know, sound comes out. I'm playing the correct notes and everything, but y'all wanna know how it feels when Y'all know wanna y'all wanna know how it sounds when when I start moving my knees like this? How many of you out there remember Marvin Gaye? Remember Marvin used to throw his hands up in the air, bite on his bottom lip and go like this? Y'all wanna hear what it sounds like when I kinda put some of that into it? Now, now, remember, it's touch sensitive. It reacts to the way that I touch it. Watch the fingers. Just me and the drum.
song is going to be a song of my uh, last CD. The name of the CD is called uh, How I Feel. And the name of this song is called The One I Need.
Detroit on bass.
sound you're about to hear, 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 hear. <laughs> will be devastating to your ears. This is the story to sound. this type of music, especially house music, you can put any song to it. I mean anything. Name anything. Name any song. Madonna. You say what? Madonna. Madonna. We're gonna put we're gonna put whatever song you name to this to this field. Keep going. Wow. 
remembering my own song. I don't I forget. I got one. Don't stop, get it, get it, don't stop. <laughs> it's time for the percolator. 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 It's time for the percolator, y'all. It's time for the percolator, y'all. It's time for the percolator. It's time for the Let me hear that snare. Come on. Come on, y'all. You know, I usually be like, pew, this gone, this is, but I like this because it gives us a, it gives us a chance to absorb the music, you know what I mean? Yeah. To really get into the live instrumentation and, and I'm mixing it up a little bit with a little bit of electronics and things like that. And it's just, just no pressure, we want to have fun. You know, it's, look, it's, we've been locked down for a long time. I need to play a little bit. So. Um, I want to dedicate this next song to all of you. Check this out. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
piano. Keyboard, y'all. Take it to the chain. Ladies in the house tonight. All my fellas out there tonight. All my fellas. See, this reminds me of those blue light in the basement parties right here. How many of y'all remember that? I'm talking about when the ladies would be on this side of the room. It's like a house party now. The fellas be over there all on the wall. And you have your fellow over there with his drink in his hand and the two young ladies over here. One young lady, one lady hits and taps the other lady and say, she says something like this. Hit me one time. He's been staring at you all night long. <laughs> and fellas, once again, are my fellas in the house? Woo! See, fellas, when you walk across the dance floor, especially at a party like this, especially when you want to talk to the lady, I don't even know if they even do this anymore, but. Fellas, make sure. Let me help. I'm helping you out. Ladies, can I give them some advice real quick? When you walk across the dance floor 
to the lady, please, please, this is important. Make sure you listen to the rhythm of the music first. See, it won't look right if you just walk across. Can I, ladies, can I show them, can I show, show them how to walk across the dance floor? Fellas, when you have your drink in your hand, right? Oh, you got, oh. The ladies are sitting over here, right? So, bro, check this out. When you walk across the dance floor, listen to the rhythm and the music, because I already know you're standing there on the wall over here. So, check it out. Don't do that part, fellas. Don't do that. I'm just missing. So now, when he gets to the ladies, this is what happened. He comes up to them, to them and asks them, you know, asks them, ask one of them to dance. Here she goes. So then he tries again. Find something in common, or you know. Here she go. <laughs> so they laugh a little bit, and he tries one more time. in the basement parties and they send the kids to one room with all the coats <laughs> and they will be dancing something like this <laughs> how many of y'all remember that out there Thank <laughs> you. 
Send it to me, because I need it. <laughs> Show some love to your wait staff and 
the people that are working so hard to make your stay so comfortable. Once again, put your hands together for the Velvet Note. I need y'all to come out and support. Live music is creeping its way back. Let me tell you something, our world will shut completely down. So this is the first time we're giving a chance to really come out. But listen, I want you to show a special, a special round of applause with your heart and with your soul to the lady that keeps all this together. She's back there doing everything. She cooking, and serving the food. I mean, how, how was the food? Wasn't amazing. And, and she's a remarkable owner of this spot, of this at the jazz jazz place, this spot, this joint. <laughs> Please put your hands together for Miss Tamara Fuller. Thank y'all so much. Ben! Ben! Come on! Hit me one time! Five times! One time! Two times! One time! One! 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 One time smooth. Thank y'all. Give it up for Reggie Hines live at the Velvet Nose. It's his first time. Give him a little extra love. I can't tell you how much talent there is on this stage every week. And I want to mention something that we don't do often. But um, tomorrow night we're going to do a charity event. Uh, Kevin Smith, who is a Grammy Award winning upright bassist, um, lost his home to a fire earlier this month and we are going to raise money for him. And um, so almost like all of Atlanta's musicians are going to be out here in one shape, shape, form, or another tomorrow night, starting at 7 o'clock. And um, it just costs $10 to get in at the door, and all of that money goes to Kevin. I will be cooking for you if you want to eat. And uh, Willie will be bartending for you if you want to drink. And we're going to put on an incredible show. They have no script, they have no boundaries or parameters. They're just going to jam all night long. And Woo! different musicians are going to come through. So, you know, if you'd like to join us, please do. We'd love to have you. And lots of great shows coming up, so you can find them at thevelvetnote.com. You guys don't look like you want to go anyplace. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is Alpharetta, right? Yeah. There's the Waffle House down the street. <laughs> just one more thing I wanted to tell you. It's just not just a job. This is what we love to do, which is to bring you closer to artists to inspire you. Closer to each other and closer to the song that's in your heart. Come back and see us again soon. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>